everyone, it's Amber Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an unboxing of a ThreadUp men's 25 pound box. And before I get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has already been subscribed to me and to my new subscribers. I know I haven't posted in short of three months, so I just wanted to fill you guys in real quick for those that care or not. Um, Corey and I moved two and a half hours away, so we now live in Raleigh, North Carolina. And then the second fun thing is I am now a full-time reseller. So I'm super excited about that. But I told myself, we've been here for about two weeks now, and I told myself I can't go sourcing until I have all of my current inventory listed. So let's get started. I'm excited because I haven't done an unboxing in a long time. It's not for you. It's not for you. No. And everyone knows that the men's boxes are always my favorite. Don't Dolce. Dolce, it's not a gift for you. So I moved the blanket because I'm trying to get Dolce to lay down. Or not. He thinks that every box is a gift for him. Especially with his birthday coming up. So let's get started. 25 pound, um, I believe I had, I believe I had a coupon for this, $10 off, but it says thread up price is 90. It's free shipping. Okay, so the first thing are shorts, and these are chaps. Don't <laughs> these aren't for you. So the first, um, item is a pair of shorts. They are chaps. These are a size 30 and they actually appear in really good condition. Still have all the buttons. Really nice. And the next item I can already see is new with tags. It's a kooky hat. Um, there's definitely some hair on it, so I'm actually not sure that it's new. I think they might have actually just tucked the, um, the tag inside, so that's always nice. Moving on, this is Peter Miller Crown Sport in size 33. Another pair of shorts, and they have the little logo here. This is another brand that I have not heard of. Um, they appear to be really good condition. It's a flat front, um, has all the buttons and zipper. Okay, so these are still new in packaging. I'm not gonna take them out right now. I will to take photos of them obviously and to measure. But right now it says tailgater jeans. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and open them because I've never heard of this brand and it doesn't have the size on it. Okay, so these are tailgater, size 46. Hmm, I've never heard of that, but this is what the little logo looks like. Um, just says 46, it doesn't say how long they are. So I'll have to measure, and there's also not any tags, so now that I took it out of the packaging, there's nothing to say that it is new. Next item is another new. This looks like a tie. And just for the video, I'm gonna go ahead and open everything. because so I will be opening it to list anyways. But this is Stafford. Hmm. That's just the brand Stafford. It's a burgundy tie. It's cute. Next item again is new. Let's see what this says. It just says warning. So this is 46M as well. It's the same size as this one. Yep, so it's the same size. Let's see what it is. 
these are Duke relaxed fit jeans with an elastic waist. So I will get these listed. These don't appear to be as new or crisp as the last one. And you can see this is kind of got some dye faded on it. I don't know, that could have just been how it was packaged, but. So, I mean, they still appear to be new, just that logo is the only thing that's keeping me from thinking it might not be. Next item is a pair of shorts with tag Junction West. Never heard of it. Um, it's a size 32. Just a pair of cargo shorts. So lots of bottoms in this package so far. Every men's box I've gotten, I've had really, really good luck, really great success on them. So if you haven't listed anything men's, I would highly suggest getting a thread up box. You don't have to get the 25 pound if they still have it, I don't know, but you don't have to get the 25 pound just to get started, get the 10 pound and just see. It's not that much, so you're really not investing too much money but you can still get a good feel if you like to sell men's clothing. Ooh. So this is a jersey, size small. Pacifica? No. Dacia? Dacia? Hmm. I've actually never heard of this, and I've never actually sold a jersey like this, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm assuming... This is soccer based on the logo right here, but this is what it looks like. This is 1896 on the back. Um, and again, everything that I list will be up on my eBay and Poshmark store, so I'll link that down below if you see anything that interests you. Ooh. I just got a peek and there's shoes in this box. I don't know if I've ever gotten a men's box with shoes in them. Here's another new with tags. This is Isod Extra Small Sweater. Just a cute little sweater to wear to church or wherever you'd like to wear this. The next item, ooh. So this is a jacket, it's a green jacket. J Crew, size small. And I can feel this, the collar part, it's a thick zipper. So I'm assuming a little hood pops out of here. And it appears to be in a really good condition. And this color, let me just tell you, I love this color. Um, I, I believe that this color looks good on anybody, no matter your skin tone. So you should probably give this color a try if you haven't already this fall. But this again is from J. Crew. Next is a pair of pants. Let's see. No branding, no tag. Huh. There's just a random label in it that says dry clean only and then all these other numbers but i have no clue the brand or the size things without a size or the brand is unknown more more along the size isn't listed i typically try to avoid and stay away from those just because you know they could claim your measurements aren't accurate doesn't fit because there's no size so this might be something I just donate somewhere local. Another pair of shorts. So these are Old Navy Ultimate Slim Built and Flex size 34. Great condition. Another item. It says Vancouver on it, um, 47 brand. So I'm not sure if this was purchased in Vancouver. This is like a, um, 
like a like a souvenir or something or this is a actually name brand shirt I don't know I will have to do the research but it's really good condition it's a nice soft material and again it was a size large another pair of shorts so these are polo by Ralph Lauren size So these are size 34, really good condition, lovely, might be a small, nope, just like a little rub spot. And all these clothing I um, wash myself before I take photos and list and just, you know, I want it clean before it goes to the customer. Really good. So far, I have unboxed 13 items. And again, I believe I only paid $80 for this because I had a $10 store credit. And so far, I, I believe that I'll already make my money back with what I've unboxed. So moving on, this looks like another jacket. It's Quicksilver. It says Quicksilver Edition. Um, comfort fit. It's a large. It is a corduroy jacket. Really nice, thick, great for the winter coming up. Um, if you live up north or if you just get cold easy, this would be a nice jacket. Next we have a shirt. This is Tommy Hilfiger. And this is a button down. Let me see the size. It's a large and a little logo underneath the pocket there, but short sleeve. Okay. I can already feel the tag with this one. So this says um, I don't know if y'all can see that. There's some hair on this. That is why I washed before. I list, photograph, and send to you. But this um, says $115. It's Johnny O hanging out. I have not actually ever heard of this brand. And I... To, just looking at it, I didn't think it was going to have a $115 price tag on it. So I'll definitely have to do my research on this. And since this is new with tag, there's really not much cleaning that I can do. Um, so I'll just, you know, kind of spruce it up and remove all of the hair. Next is... American Eagle Outfitters Active Flex Size Medium, brand new. Still has the tag, or, sorry, it's not new. That is the logo on the shirt. But it's a really, really soft, stretchy shirt. Good for athletic wear. And also, I just wanna take a moment. Someone sent me a message saying, I, um, the other people shouldn't buy into the hype of buying these thread up boxes because they only send good boxes to YouTubers. And I just want to go ahead and tell you that that's false. I buy these boxes just solely to resell them. I really have no intentions to do YouTube for them. I just do them because I think it's fun to watch unboxing videos myself. So I like to do them. But I will show you there was a box that I unboxed off camera because I needed to get stuff sold before moving and this was in it not even joking it was a handbag box and this was one of the handbags listed so no they do not send better boxes to youtubers or whatever you're making the claim so I just wanted to slide that in there and let you know it's just draw of luck really I mean 
you could get a better box than me. And I've actually gotten a really bad box, the fun box. So if you haven't watched that, I'll link that down below. But back to the men's box. So this looks like another shirt. Now this is new with tags. Clear water outfitter size extra large. A blue button down. It's nice, it's a thicker material for a button down. I like it. Next item is another pair of shorts. These are O'Neal, um, O'Neal Hybrid. I'm trying to look for the size, 34. These are actually almost, no. I was gonna say they almost feel like swim trunks, but I don't think they are. O'Neill, they're just um, a gray and white striped shorts. Seem really strunch, really comfortable. Next, ooh, it's a men's vest. This is Land's End size large, new with tag. I told you, I'm just telling you, I have the best luck with men's boxes. So this is a vest, new with tags. I think Dolce likes the sound of it. It doesn't have a price anywhere, so I can't give a price as to what the tag would say, but black, again, size large. Another item is a pair of pants. And these are bullhead. So these have the, so these have the um, tag on them as if they were new, but you can tell just by feeling the tag that they've been washed. So they just kept the tag on them. Um, but it is a slim straight 3230. like gray, light wash, almost acid wash, jeans, really nice. That looks like that's all for the clothing and then I have a few pairs of shoes which I'm really excited about because I don't think I've ever gotten men's shoes in a unbox, or in a thread up box. So I'm just gonna go to the ones that look, that call my attention first. And they are these because they have the little boot things in them. How nice. So these are Joseph Abowd. I've never actually heard of that brand. Hold on. But they both have the little shoe things and I might keep those for Corey. These are really nice dress shoes. Not badly worn either. Just a pair of black Oxford dress shoes. Um, let me see what size. Thirteen D is what I'm looking at. Really good. I mean, this person kept really good care of these. Next pair. These are definitely going to need some cleaning, but. They are a pair of Converse. Looks like they're pink Converse, and this is why I said they're gonna need cleaning. But these will sell well. Converse is a great brand. I love my Converse, um, and I love that they are unisex, so, you know, I, I can wear them, you can wear them, anyone can wear them. But these look like they're hot pink, maybe a red, can't really tell in the sliding, but Yep, I'll just spruce these up. I'll just give these a good cleaning. And these are a men's nine and women's 11. Two more pairs of shoes and I can already see the brands. They are great shoes. So I really, really lucked out. This has been my best men's box yet. And I've ordered a lot of men's boxes. So next item is a pair of Vans. 
and these appear to be very clean. I'll still probably clean them some, but these are a size seven in men's. I'm also not sure of the type of shoe that these are, but really good. And then the last pair is just a pair of New Balances. These look like some OG New Balances. These are size 11 and a half in tan. Not badly worn either. Just have to clean them up and they will be good to go. So I'm just gonna count how many items I've gotten and again, $80 for 25 pounds. I looked out. Okay, so I just got finished counting and all together I got 26 items for $80. If you haven't tried ThreadUp, I would highly recommend it. I've got a link in the bottom, save you some coins. I'd also like to know if you've tried a thread up box, specifically a men's thread up box. So if you have, drop it in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.